sponging is one of the easiest ways to work a little makeover magic in your home. This technique creates a soft, mottled look on walls, doors, furniture, and accessories. Like many faux techniques, this can be done using an additive or a subtractive process. Here's what you'll need to apply this technique. The base coat application for both techniques is the same. First, mask any surfaces that you don't want to paint with masking tape. Apply the base coat by brushing a 2 to 3 inch border around the edges and then roll using a premium quality 3 8 inch nap roller. Be sure to let the base coat dry overnight before applying the glaze. The sponging on technique is achieved by the manner in which the glaze is applied to the surface. This is known as an additive technique. Start with a slightly damp, clean, natural sea sponge. Pour the glaze into a roller pan and blot the sea sponge into the glaze. An oversaturated sponge will impart a harsh look. The idea is to achieve a more subtle appearance. Pounce the sponge randomly on the surface, making sure to avoid any kind of pattern, reloading the sponge as needed. Twist your wrist to change the sponge's direction, which adds to the randomness. As an option, you can use the dry side of the sponge to blend and soften the look. Remember that this technique is all about broken color, which means that you want to see the base coat showing through, so don't try to completely cover the base coat. A pouncing brush or small piece of sponge can be used in corners or at wall edges to give the glaze an even appearance. A second glaze color can be sponged on after the first color is dried overnight to add even more depth. A pouncing brush can also be used to load the second glaze color onto the sponge for a more subtle look. Note that the second glaze color is blended into the areas left open or uncoated by the first glaze color. As you can see, the finished look can be stunning when using two complementary colors. To cover a larger area in less time while still delivering beautiful results, use a sponge roller instead of a natural sea sponge. The sponging off technique is achieved by the manner in which the glaze is removed from the surface. This is known as a subtractive technique. Apply the glaze in the same manner as the base coat by first brushing the edges with a 2 to 3 inch border and then rolling with a premium quality 3 8 inch nap roller. Using a dry sponge, blot the sponge into the wet glaze, removing glaze with each pounce. Make sure to keep the sponge as clean as possible by removing any glaze accumulation as you work. Multiple sponges can be used to minimize the frequency of sponge cleaning and to help keeping from developing a pattern. A pouncing brush can be used to blend in corners or hard to reach areas and to blend any brush marks left over from trimming the borders. A pouncing brush can also be used to blend the glaze as a final touching up procedure. The sponging off technique produces a soft cloudy look that allows for hints of the base coat to show through. The look is as varied as your imagination. Both sponging techniques are so easy, even a beginner can produce professional looking results.